Hiya Paul, lovely to meet up with you for the first session of 2013. As you suggested, you've just sort of slipped back into a few of your old traits. Having said that, nowhere near as far back as you were at the start of your session. So first thing we talked about was the position of the feet. We look at the top left here. This is you at the start of the session. Feet aren't turned out enough. Knees are a little bit kinked in, as in your previous session. Then as you take the club back, there's a tendency to just let the pressure move away from that lead leg. Just drifting at that point, not a lot of flex downwards with that left knee. When we look at it from down the line, something we didn't really discuss when we were talking about other things, but I just thought I'd throw this in uh, on reflection. You could do with getting the arms working in a fraction more as well as per some of your previous sessions. So just revisiting stuff that we've done before. Turn out the feet, keep the weight forward, get the arms in. The way we talked about getting the weight forward was trying to feel like you were keeping the weight or keeping the pressure into the lead leg. So working on that left knee a little bit more. And when you did that, you arrived at a much better top of the backswing position, left knee flexing more keeping you a little bit more centred, hips a little bit less level at P4, so you can see there now, hips quite level, a little bit more side bend in the hips, brought around from more flexing of this left knee. So flexing the left knee more, putting the tilts in the hips, propelling the butt of the club farther, also aiding you in getting the hands and the arms to work in. What we then discussed in the downswing was this movement of the arms. We need to speed up what the arms are doing. We need to get the arms to work down sooner to get P6 a little bit more advanced. So we need the arms, the left arm in that position when the shaft is parallel to the ground. That brings the release point in and tightens up the circumference of the swing. So the feeling we gave you for that was to get the arms moving early, emphasize the arms a little bit more. Swing to the top and then drop the arms down. Do that a couple of times, that pump drill that we worked on. Do that a couple of times and then go hit your shot on the third one. Now typically when someone hangs on to the arms a little bit too much and the body's working well, they start to dump things on the way through. You can see there that the overtaking rate on the golf club is a little bit excessive and the rate of closure on the club face can get a little bit OTT as well. So what we talked about was keeping the arms and club working straighter out here through impact. So P8 trying to work on keeping the arms and the club straighter. As illustrated by this drill here, just trying to get you a feel at first. Stopping at about chest height, keeping the arms straighter, not collapsing the left wrist quite as much. Just swinging through slowly on this one so the lower body looks a little bit static. We also talked about how in order for you to stop at chest height with the club and the arms outstretched in front of you, you had to keep the arms on the rib cage. In order to keep the arms on the rib cage, the body has to extend and turn through impact, particularly the hips, allowing you to get a little bit more of a turn through it look coming through impact and a much lower exit with a softer club face position. So key aspects, keep the pressure in the lead leg, use the flexion of the left knee to allow you to do that. Speed up the arm swing in the transition, get the arms moving sooner uh, and keeping up with the body, getting that right arm expanding nicely, tightening up P6 and then hit a lot of shots, stopping at chest height. I can guarantee if you do that next time you come, you'll be much clearer with the hips, uh, much more turn through it. Uh, rather than being tucked underneath as per your initial complaints. If you've got a chance to watch the video on YouTube of me hitting the brakes, that explains a lot about the changes that you're likely to see taking place if you commit to that hitting the brakes at chest height exercise over the next month or so. I'll forward you some dates over the next day or so regarding your next session. Keep working hard, good luck, and look forward to playing with you in the coming se season. Well done.